Hi guys, I'm Elephants Are Tasty, and uh, today we are going to be discussing for a few moments the best worst thing that I have ever experienced in my life. And um, <laughs> of course, I mean that semi-jokingly because uh, as you can tell by the title, we're talking about anime, but I am serious when I say that this was the most emotional scene in an anime I have ever experienced. Now, um, this video has lots of spoilers for Hunter x Hunter, so uh, if you haven't finished it, uh, then do not watch this video. Finish it and then watch this video. Or if you haven't watched Hunter x Hunter and you don't plan to, don't watch this video either because you should go watch it. <laughs> but, and also, Donovan, if you clicked on this video like I told you not to click on this video, do not watch this or I will know and I will come after you. So, yeah, there's this anime called Hunter x Hunter and, um, after you finish it, you get crippling depression for a while. <laughs> but in all seriousness, this, okay, this anime is the most emotional thing, one of the most emotional things I've ever experienced in my life. And I'm sorry my camera keeps focusing, I don't know what the fuck is wrong with it. But, okay, listen up. This anime, it, it changes so much. There's so much in this anime. Hunter x Hunter 2011, of course. Um, and yes, I say the X, I don't know why. Oh, okay, listen, oh. If you've seen this, if you've seen the entire 2011 anime, then you understand, you, you get a certain feeling when I say the words Chimera Ant Arc. <laughs> Boy, okay, ugh. You guys know how devastating that whole ordeal was, and I'm watching this show with uh, Donovan right now, and we're in the middle of the Chimera Ant Arc. Like, they've kind of... Oh, in fact, the episode we left off on was, um, they just, like, jumped into the palace to begin the fight. And you guys know that's where, like, the, the bad stuff actually starts happening. Oh, God. Okay, but anyway, after the Chimera Ant arc, you have, um, that stuff with Gone, if you know what I mean. And, <laughs> but then after that, you have the stuff with the, um, election. And you know what happens right at the beginning of this part. And this is the scene we're going to discuss today. Gon meets his dad. <laughs> um, okay. This is the scene in the entire show that made me cry the absolute most. Not anything in the Chimera Ant arc, though I did cry a little bit in there. It was this scene that actually made me sob. And we're gonna watch it and, I guess, react to it, I guess? <laughs> but, and then discuss it, but... Oh boy. <laughs> this... <sighs> this scene... When I saw it, I just, I was floored. Like, okay, we're just gonna watch it and discuss it. And, um, <laughs> remember, if you haven't seen Hunter x Hunter or you're not at this part, please do not watch this. <laughs> okay, so, here we go. Okay, so it's just, like, a nice little, like, episode start. And, like, I know the, um, previous episode must have, like, left off right around here. And, ugh, sorry about my fucking camera. Okay, but, uh, here we go. Yeah. Boy, okay, are you freaking kidding me? He literally, he hasn't seen his son in like 10 or however many years, like, hun like feels like hundreds of years, and he just says, yo, and I know that's because he's like a deadbeat dad, like, okay, he's not a deadbeat dad, he's just not a dad, <laughs> but uh, this is where it just like all started going to shit, like, that's all he says, and then this following stuff happens. Okay, God, he just, I can't, he's so happy to see his dad, I mean, but like, not at the same time, because you know what he starts uh, talking to him about Kite and stuff, um, but he's just, he's finally met his dad, and that mu that damn music starts playing, and it's like the happy, like, let's go on an adventure music, but so that, it, it conflicts with what's being said when they start talking. And it's just like, his hospital slippers just like flap in the air like he doesn't care. He's just running towards his dad. It's the thing he's been searching for, for years. And Jing's like, what the fuck? And then, the first thing Gon literally says to his dad is, I'm sorry. Not like, I found you, or hey, you're my dad. Or anything like that. The first thing he says is, I'm sorry. Because he's sorry for his friend Kite getting killed because it was his fault. That's 
the first thing he says to his dad, who he hasn't seen in years. He's like never really met his dad. Oh my god. Of course I'm crying all over again. But, oh god. The first thing he says to his dad is, I'm sorry. And that just... It's not something you would expect from like a usual character interaction, but you, you know who Gon is and you know what happened and what he went through. And he just wanted to find his dad, but the first thing he says is, I'm sorry. <laughs> He just, he blames himself, and Jinx is like, I don't know what's happening. And he says, it's my fault, Kite turned into a little girl, he doesn't say he, he he's dead. Because Kite is like, pretty much dead, just, you know, the whole thing with the chimera ants, and like, the, the um, girl who like, got Kite's memories, I think. He doesn't even say he's dead, he just said, like, that's what you would usually, um, apologize for, but he says, it's my fault Kai got turned into a little girl. And like, that's funny, but I don't know what it is. It's just, oh God. <laughs> I'm not sad, I'm just really emotional because of it. And um, so he says that, and Jing's just so flustered because he doesn't know how to be a dad. And Kai's, Kai's not, I mean, sorry, Ngon is not even saying anything about like, I found you or like I've been searching for you forever all he cares about is apologizing for Kite and that's honestly that's like one of the most powerful things in this entire show to me at least <laughs> and then he just he goes off and he starts explaining about everything that happened and he's just explaining why he messed up and everything that happened, even though Jing doesn't really know, I guess. <sighs> oh god. <laughs> and Jing doesn't just know how to respond because he's not- he doesn't know. <laughs> like, Pito said that Kite was already dead, which that happened, and then you guys know all the shit that happens after Gon finds out that Kite's really dead. <sighs> it just... Oh, God. And Gon is upset. Because he was the one who got Kite killed. And it's just like... You can't really tell how Jing feels to see his son. Like... Like... Does he actually love him? Or is he just flustered because he doesn't know how to react? Like... And like everyone else is like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's flustered because he's usually like awesome Jing, but when he sees his son, he doesn't know what to do. And then God says he's the one who should have died. <laughs> and Jing, like, he knows what to say. He's like, that's not true. And <laughs> he knows Kai would have taken God because he believed in him. And it's Gon's fault that Kite got killed. But Jing knows that it's not Gon's fault because he went in the first place. And he knows his son is still learning and he knows he can get stronger. It's just so beautiful. I don't understand. This is the most beautiful like, thing I've ever seen. <laughs> he told you to run because he underestimated the enemy, which is true, but it just all happened so fast. And Gon was so young, he didn't really know what to do. <laughs> Although, I mean, he should have followed the directions, but <sighs> it's understandable. <laughs> and then Gon is just so upset for Kai. <sighs> oh, God. <laughs> It is partially Kite's fault, but then Jing also knows that it's also Gon's fault, but it's just, he's so logical about it, and he's just teaching his son, and they just don't even talk about how Gon finally found him. And it's like, you should apologize to Kite, not to me, and it's, <laughs> that's so true, though. <laughs> You should apologize, he just says, go apologize. 
It's like you have to promise that you'll do things differently next time. And it's just, it's, Kite is still alive through the Chimera Ant Girl. But it's like, how is that gonna play out? So it's like, go apologize to the girl, go apologize to Kite. And he just says, get going, and then God just like goes to leave. He doesn't even want to like hug his dad or like say anything else. And he's just like, can I talk to you later? Because he understands there's something more important than just getting to talk with his dad right now. He understands that he's an obligation to go apologize to the kite. <laughs> yeah, he's like this uh, weird looking girl. And it's just... <sighs> It's the most, like, powerful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> so, that's just about all I really wanted to talk about. And hopefully you guys feel the same, but, um, Hunter x Hunter is the most amazing anime ever. It's the best anime out there, so... I just wanted to put this out there, put my emotions out there, so... <laughs> Thanks for watching me cry over the most emotional thing ever. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.